Hello, hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Good evening. Hey, hey, good evening. Good evening, everybody. How is everything? How are you doing today? How are you feeling? Feeling with energy? Happy? Excited? Happy because today is Friday. Thank you so much. All right. That's a good comment. It's Friday. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much. What about for the rest? How is everybody feeling? Let me have some people participate. Carlos Antonio, what about you, mister? How is everything for you? Repeat, teacher, please. How is everything for you? How are you doing? Excellent. Excellent. Ready. Hey, that's good. That's good to know. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. What about for you, Stephanie? How are you doing today? I am happy, teacher. <laughs> hey, that's good. For the English class? Yes. Um, because it's Friday. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, it's Friday. Yeah, that's a good reason to be happy. Thank you. Thank you so much. Brenda, you said, what about you? How is everything for you? Hi, uh, I'm good. You're good? I'm excited. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Good to know. Good to know. I see more people connecting to the video conference, and that makes me happy. Thank you so much. Miss Patricia Hernandez, how are you doing? Hello, hello, Patricia. Hello, hello. All right, probably not available yet. Miss Estrella, how are, how are you doing today? <clears throat> hello, I'm fine. Thank you. Perfect, perfect. That's good to know. Good to know. Thank you so much. All right, welcome everybody for today's video conference. As you mentioned, Today is Friday, 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 Friday. So you see, it's a happy day, right? Let's get started in as usual, we check on attendance. So please make a confirmation when you listen to your name. So we get started on this. Mr. Alexander Brian Campos. Present. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for the confirmation. Let me have more people. Uh, Ashley Ramos. Present teacher. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, Brenda Ivette. Hello, teacher. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Brenda Patricia. Present. Thank you. Thank you so much, miss. Then I have Carlos Antonio Navas. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Eduardo Garcia. Mr. Eduardo Garcia. All right, I continue. Thank you, thank you. I'm sorry, teacher, I'm sorry. Hey, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Then I continue with Erika Mercedes. Present. Thank you. Thank you so much, Miss. Thank you. Thank you. Stephanie Patricia. Present, teacher. All right. Thank you. Estrella Dulcinea. Present, teacher. Perfect. 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 Uh, Fernando Rafael. <clears throat> Present, teacher. Only listen to class. All right. Perfect. Thank you so much. Francisco Castro. Francisco Castro. All right, I continue. Miss Griselda Grande. Present. All right, thank you. Thank you so much. Herbert Danilo. Herbert Danilo. Okay, I continue. It is Paola. It is Paola. All right, no problem. Let me ask uh, more people. Carla Elizabeth Valencia. 
Miss Carla, Carla, Carla. Hello, Carla Elizabeth. Okay, I move on. Kenya Patricia. Present. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, then Kenya Raquel Guerrero. I know you are here and busy at work, but thank you so much. Miss Kenya Raquel. Thank you. Thank you. I continue. I go with Mr. Levi Martinez. Mr. Levi Martinez, thank you. All right, thank you for your confirmation by raising your hand. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Then I continue with Lucia Esperanza Presa. Miss Lucia Esperanza. Okay, I continue, no problem. Michelle Alexandra Medina. Present teacher. Thank you. Nelson Omar Rivas. Mr. Nelson, Nelson Omar Rivas. Okay, move on. Norma Margarita Sarabia. All right, all right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Then I have Osmaro Aníbal Rodriguez. Present teacher. Excellent. Thank you. Paula Julissa Esquivel. Paola Julissa. Okay, Hi. probably. In, oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Then I have Rafael Eduardo Ramos. Present. Amazing, thank you. And Rosa Emilia Navarro. All right, thank you so much for your confirmation through the chat. All right, perfect. For the people who just incorporated, just welcome to the class. I appreciate your presence in this session. All right, perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's get started. Let's get into business. For today, uh, let me see. We continue with our classes. And what class is today, people? Number, class number six. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Class number six. Before we get into today's content, let me see. Let me ask on some people so I can listen to you. Mr. I choose on Mr. Osmaro. Tell me, Mr. Osmaro, what, what do you remember about yesterday's class? <clears throat> We learn uh, talk about the uh, third person. Ah, thank uh, you. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. uh, to make a question with a WH. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Daily, mm -hmm. daily routine, the Rene. Ah, they, uh -huh, exactly. Exactly. Thank you, Mr. Osmaro. Thank you. Thank you. Let me ask on more people to participate. Miss. Sir Carlos Antonio, what about you? What more do you remember? I I remember teacher. Uh, describe a uh, amazing mm -hmm. report. Uh, mm -hmm. The the first person. Mm -hmm. Describe routines uh -huh. and. and and um, uh, about the verbs and mm -hmm. and we are and we I you we they and uh -huh. uh, uh, he he she mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay compliments yeah all this. All right, perfect, perfect, perfect. Thank you so much for the people who participated. That's correct. We talk about the simple present. Tell me, there is a group of, let's see, mm -hmm, there is a group of four people. Do you remember we have, in this group, we have the pronoun I. What is the other member of this group? I? You. 
you, uh, you, you uh -huh. we, 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 and they. Perfect, perfect. All right, we have a group. And in this group, when we talk about something affirmative, what type of verb is necessary? Transform. Thank you. Base form. Perfect, perfect. When we talk about the base form, is the verb in something extra or only the verb? Only the only the verb. Correct, correct, correct. Thank you, thank you. Remember when you listen, hey, base form, the verb, and nothing extra. No modifications for that, right? Thank you. After that group, there is other group in which there are three, right? In that one, we have he. Do you remember the other members of the group? He. She. She and it. She it. Perfect, perfect. He, she, and it. And in this case, for affirmative sentences, what type of verb do we need? Base for my uh -huh. uh, uh -huh. the verb change. Ah, all right. Thank you, thank you. That's correct. There is some information. Did you listen to that, Miss uh, Michelle Alejandra? Did you listen to that info? Hello, hello, Michelle Alejandra. Hello, hello. <laughs> all right, all right. What about for you? Let me ask on more people. What about for you? Let me see, Miss Patricia Hernandez. Did you listen to that info? Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Let me give the chance to other person. What about for you, Estrella Dulcinea? Did you listen to that info about what Brenda mentioned? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, um, I don't remember. Okay, no problem, about, no problem. What about child? Mm -hmm. In this moment, we are talking about the changes in the verse in the third person singular. Do you remember something about that? Oh, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, um, and the, af the affirmative form. Uh -huh, um, correct. Uh, talking about the, the present. Yeah, uh, Okay, um, the, the verb, no, no change, and uh -huh. I, you, we, they, mm -hmm. but, and he, she, it, mm -hmm. Uh, we can change the, the verb. All right, all right. Thank you. Uh, Thank you so uh, much. Okay. Tell, 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 no, tell me more. Tell me more. Okay. Go ahead. Add uh, S or uh -huh. yes. Uh -huh. Or change the words if the, fin the finally word uh -huh. in, in wife, for example. In uh -huh. change, okay. in change, add I E S. Thank you. Or, Thank you so much. Or flies. Mm -hmm. flies or flies. Oh, perfect. Thank you. And that's a very complete comment. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Now, after listening to her, what other examples can we mention in that section? Estrella mentioned fly, flies. What is other verb with a similar change? Do you remember other? And study. And study. Studies. Thank you. Any other? Play. All right. Fly. All right. Fly. Play. Flies. Aha. Uh -huh. What about play? I... Is it possible for that one? No, only S. Only, only S. Ah, only S. Thank you so much. Check on that one. If we talk about fly, we can say flies. Double check on the change. Something that I am typing in the presentation. But what happens to this one play? 
we only say place. So this is different, right? A different change. Uh, something similar, as you mentioned, is the verb study, studies. Do you remember other people? <clears throat> For example, watch, mm -hmm. watch. Ah, uh, watch. All right, what is the change in that one? Watch, we say, I watch TV. My sister. Watches. She watches. All right, watches. Extra ES, all right? Let me change that one. Do you remember other verb that has similar change for ES? Go, go, goes. Ah, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Any other that you remember, people? Gouache, gouaches. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you. That's correct, that's correct. Is there any other? Fixes. In... Fix uh -huh. Sorry, one more time, sorry. Fix, fixes. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Fix, fixes. There you are. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you so much. We have some examples about the different changes. Remember, this is applicable only for what? For he? What is the other? He, she, it. All right. He, she, it. Correct. These are the verbs plus a modification, right? Verbs in third person singular. Thank you so much. Now, people, let's remember. Yesterday, we mentioned about a negative element to express sentence in negative. What are the two negative elements we have? Don't and that. Do, do Don't. Oh, sorry, do and that. Ah, all right. Ah, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. You are right. When we talk about the auxiliaries, we can say auxiliary do, and we can say auxiliary does, two auxiliaries. But yes. what is the negative form for do? What is the negative for do? Don't. 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 And the negative for does? Doesn't. 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 Perfect. Now, talking about the groups, for example, if I say we, what is the negative element? We? We don't. We don't. We don't. Ah, they. They don't. don't. Oh, she. Doesn't. 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 I. Don't. Don't. I don't. The car. Doesn't. They don't. Doesn't. Don't. Don't. The car don't. Doesn't. Doesn't. Because it's it. Correct, correct, oh. correct, correct. The car, only one is it, right? It doesn't, all right? It doesn't. The students, negative, students? Don't, don't. Don't, exactly, the students. The computer. The computer. Doesn't. Doesn't. Listen to me, computer. Uh, computers, done. plural. Done. 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 Exactly, exactly. Right? Different. If I say one computer, don't. Don't. Doesn't. Doesn't. Yes, there you are. Thank you so much. <laughs> no problem, right? If we say a computer, let's see. Some feedback. Let me just. Uh, mute people so you, we can listen perfectly. All right. If we talk about a computer, if we talk about one computer, two different forms to express this one. If I talk about, let's see, uh, a cat. Um, let's see, a book. In this case, when we say a computer, what is the quantity we're making reference? What is the quantity of elements? A computer, one. 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 Uh, in the other example, one computer is obvious, right? It's obvious. If I say a cat, what is the quantity? One. 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 Exactly. One. 
in when I say a book, one. Wow. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Check on this one, something different. All right. Let me see. What about this one? If I say this, let me go for the other one. All right. This is similar. All right. Let me see for this one. Cats. And let me go over this one. Great, great, great. Tell me, if I say computers, what is the quantity reference? Two or more. Ah, exactly. I say two and I will play something like this, just as a reference. Me voy a poner por ahí una referencia. It could be two, three, four, five, oof, a big number. But definitely not only one, right? Definitely no one, not one. If I talk about cats, what is the reference in quantity? Two or more. Exactly. Thank you. Two or more. And similar to books, quantity? Exactly. Exactly. If we talk about this one, we say about books, we can say there are two or more than two, all right? Thank you, thank you so much. Now, let's do the other process, people. If I don't want to say, let me lay, eliminate this one. Uh, I will eliminate this part. Let me see, just let me arrange this part so it's better. Okay, perfect. Now, people, if I say, one computer, you know, the reference is one. But if I want to change this one for a pronoun, I, you, we, they, what is the, the element that can change for one computer? What is the pronoun? Can I say it. I? Ah, it. thank you, All right, it. it. If I talk about a cat, what pronoun can I use? It. It. All right, because I'm talking about only one. Perfect. And if I talk about a book? It. It. Exactly. Thank you. Remember, it is for animals, for uh, mm. objects, and for things. All right? When we talk about only one element, right? Singular. One computer, a cat, a book. The reference, one, singular, it because that is the correct one. We cannot say she, we cannot say they, uh, we cannot say he or you, all right? Not possible. But okay. check on this one. The next one, if I talk about other, I say one computer, it. But when it is plural, if I say computers, what is the, the pronoun? Can I say it again? They. No. They. Ah, ah, perfect, perfect, perfect. In this case, we have an exception. Remember, they is for people. People. Uh, exactly. That is the, the major use. But in this case, elements, objects, and animals, there is no plural. No plural for it. Right? There is no plural. For that reason, we can use they for exception. Right? For exception, we can say they. All right? Recuérdense que el de es solo para personas. ¿verdad? El it es inclusivo para uh, lo que ya mencionamos. Pero el it, al no tener forma plural, se hace como un préstamo, se hace una excepción. Entonces podemos utilizar el pronombre they para llamar a los objetos, pero solo en plurales. ¿verdad? In singular, it. But in this case, cats, we can say they. Books, we can say they. Only for plural elements, it's possible, all right? After this one, it's easier, all right? ¿Por qué estamos haciendo este, esta explicación? Porque ahí le va a resultar más fácil a usted saber cuándo utilizar doesn't and when to use don't, right? Because we say books, right? If I say books, is it doesn't or don't? That's don't. Vea la referencia da. que tiene acá. Estamos hablando de plurales, ¿verdad? Da. Si tenemos books, imagínese usted que tiene como un, un pronombre they, 
y por eso acuérdense cuál utilizamos. All right. Books, sorry, what is the negative? Books. Don't. 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 All right. A, a cat. Negative. Doesn't. Does, doesn't. 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 Computers. <laughs> Don't. 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 All right. A cell phone. Doesn't. 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 All right. Uh, let me see. Notebooks. Doesn't. Don't. 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 Plural. Ah, plural. plural. Ah, perfect. No, Notebooks. Don't. Don't. Exactly. Right. At one television. Doesn't. Doesn't. One television doesn't. doesn't. Right. One television, exactly. Let me see for the other. Uh, let me see. Oranges. Oranges. Doesn't. Don't. 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 Yeah. Ah, it's plural. plural. Remember yeah. that one. It's plural. Okay. If we talk about yeah. oranges, yes. it's plural. Exactly. Remember the sure. reference? Tell me, tell me. The plural the TV. TVs. TVs. It's possible. TVs. Uh -huh. TVs. If you go for that part, you can say TVs. Exactly. Exactly. Perfect. Don't forget about that one. That is going to help you a lot when you need to think about the correct one, right? Think about that one. Individual or singular elements, animals, objects, or things, doesn't. Plural objects, plural animals, plural things, don't, right? Don't, 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 right? In that case, pay attention. Nada más recuerde eso. Si hablamos de animales, objetos o cosas, pero en plural, hagas una referencia como que está utilizando they. Entonces, como es plural, utilizamos don't. Aunque estemos hablando de objetos, ¿verdad? Como ya les explicaba, no existe una forma plural del it. Por eso se hace un préstamo y utilizamos un they. Entonces, acá, y usted ya sabe que el they don't, ¿verdad? No decimos they doesn't, all right? They don't. Origins don't. Books don't. People don't. Uh, schools don't. Right? That is how you work in this exercise. And so for you to clarify that idea. Any doubt at this moment, people? Questions, questions? No. Clear? It's clear. Confused? Teacher, can Tell you re uh -huh. repeat, please? Eso de que le preste el it porque medio lo entendí. Oh, all right, perfect, perfect, perfect. Check on this one. When we talk about the equivalent, it's it for plural elements. Vea que cuando hablamos de un, recuérdese que el it lo utilizamos para animales, objetos y cosas. ¿Ok? Pero cuando solo tenemos uno singular, por eso les puse ejemplos acá. Si yo digo one computer, es obvio que solo hay una. Igualmente con el artículo a que también tiene un trasfondo numérico de uno. Si digo a cat, estoy hablando de uno. A book, igualmente estoy hablando de uno. Ya si yo quiero cambiar el nombre del objeto, ya no quiero decir a cat, pero utilizar un pronombre, en ese caso utilizo el it. Right? it. Si hablo de un gato, uno. A cat, it pudiera ser. Si me refiero al mismo objeto, que sería singular. A book. It, only one. One computer, it, right? Ve aquí, solo les estoy mostrando el cambio que puede ocurrir. Se los muestro de esta forma porque tal vez es más fácil para nosotros internalizarlo, ¿verdad? Porque si vamos con pronombres it, yo ya sé que es doesn't, right? Si yo digo they, ya sé que es don't. Pero ¿qué pasa cuando utilizamos nombres propios? Entonces ahí ya se pone un poco challenging, right? Un poco más... No, no difícil, pero más retaduro para nosotros. Por eso les puse el it como referencia. Entonces, si yo digo a book, doesn't, right? Porque es el que utilizamos con it. Pero le, lo, la contraparte en este es que los objetos, animales y cosas, cuando hablamos de dos o más, por eso aquí le puse entre paréntesis, y por ejemplo, en computers y en todo lo demás, les puse dos o más, eh, no tiene una forma plural, el it. Right? No podríamos ponerle una S y decir it's para decir, ah, son, son más de uno. No se puede, no existe esa palabra. Por tal motivo, 
les comentaba yo que se hace una excepción. El pro pronombre they, que sería ellos o ellas, que generalmente es para personas, se puede utilizar en este contexto para objetos, animales y cosas cuando es plural. Así como vemos acá, si vemos el ejemplo, one computer, yo lo puedo cambiar por it, porque solo es uno. Pero computers, que son dos o más, ya no puedo utilizar it. En ese contexto utilizo el they. ¿verdad? They es el que utilizo, aunque generalmente esto es para personas. Ese es como un préstamo o una excepción que se hace en el idioma inglés. ¿verdad? Utilizo un they. Y de acá ya nos resulta más fácil. Usted sabe que para el they, el auxiliar en negativo es don't. Entonces, acá si yo digo computers, porque está en plural, no voy a decir computers doesn't. Right? Porque uno piensa, hey, como es un objeto, tengo que poner tercera persona. Ah, pero es un objeto plural. Ya cambia. Right? Computers don't. Cats, plural. Cats don't. Books, plural. Books don't. Oranges is a fruit. Right? Something. Oranges don't. Ve que ahí no me voy a ir a decir orange, oranges doesn't. No podríamos decir de esa forma, ¿ok? Sino que vamos a tratar de utilizar como que fuera un plural, ¿verdad? Un, por eso les puse el equivalente del pronombre they en pantalla, para que usted lo vea tal vez más fácil, para saber cuál vamos a utilizar. Tell me, Miss, is it a little bit clearer? ¿Tenemos un poquitito más clara la idea, Miss? Sí, teacher, muchas gracias. All right, perfect, 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 perfect. Let's do a quick practice, Paola, una pequeña práctica, rapidito. Si yo le digo cell phones y lo hace negativo, me va a decir doesn't or don't. Cell phones. Don't. 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 All right. Don't. Si le digo yo uh, a box. A box. ¿Cuál es una? Me va a decir... Doesn't. 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 Perfect. 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 Thank you so much. That's the idea. That's the idea. Perfect. Perfect. Any other questions, people? What's this questions? Hello, hello. Podría hacer una oración utilizando el data y los cat books o computers. Por favor. Yeah, 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 no problem. No problem. All right. Let me eliminate this one. Exactly. For example, uh, let's say plural. Books don't have a good cover, right? Vamos a ponerle acá. Vamos a ponerle those books. O these books. Vamos a ponerle. These books, ¿verdad? Estos libros no tienen una, una buena pasta, una buena cobertura, right? De, de portada, de fachada. These books don't have a good cover. But this, but this book, ahí es singular, uh, doesn't... Uh, Let's see, doesn't have any cover. Vamos a poner un ejemplo por acá, right? Vea por acá, tenemos plural y singular en la misma oración. These books, haciendo referencia a muchos, ¿verdad? These books don't have a good cover. Estos no tienen una buena pasta, ¿verdad? Una buena cobertura, right? But this book, pero este libro, ya hablando en singular, doesn't have any cover. Este ni tiene, ¿verdad? Ni tiene cobertura, que es esta pelón como uno le dice, right? Vamos a ponerle otro ejemplo. The computers um, don't cost a lot of money today. But a lot. And, vamos a ver. And a tablet, vamos a ver. Does Ah, vamos a ver, vamos a poner acá. But a tablet doesn't have all features. Don't have, vamos a ver, don't have many features. All right, vamos con otro ejemplo por acá. Computers. Don't cost a lot of money. But a tablet doesn't have many features. Right? Vea por ahí, igualmente tenemos elementos plura, plurales y singulares. Las computadoras no cuestan mucho dinero. Ahora, hoy en día. 
pero las tablets no tienen muchas características, muchas funciones. ¿vale? A tablet, pero una tableta, una tablet que uno le dice, no tiene muchas funciones. Doesn't have many features. Right? And in that case, we are using uh, the elements depending on plural or singular. Ve que ahí yo no estoy utilizando pronombres, pero por el análisis que hicimos hace rato, si es plural, plural o singular, yo voy utilizando los negativos acorde a la cantidad eh, de, de si es singular o si es plural. Right? These books don't. But this book doesn't. Hablando de solo uno. ¿verdad? Igualmente lo otro. Computers, plural. Computers don't. A tablet doesn't. Y ahí tenemos por ahí unos pocos más ejemplos de cómo utilizar negativos. Hablando de... Eh, uh, talking about uh, objects, right? Or elements. Mm -hmm. uh, is it clearer now? Yes, thank you. All right, perfect. My pleasure. My pleasure, pleasure, pleasure. All right. Perfect. 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 Now, is there anything else I can help you with? Algo más en que pueda ayudarles de este tema? Hello, hello. Yes or no? If there is no, tell me. No. Clear? May I, may, thank you. May I continue? Yes. yes. Perfect. Yes. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's get started and let's, let's see. Let's see. Let me. Okay, perfect. All right, let's move on. Today, as always, we have a class objective, all right? And let's work on that one. Let's, let's work together for this one, people. What is the objective for today? Can we read it? I will. I will be able to stay Exactly. Thank you so much. That is what we do, right? We express ideas about repetition of actions. All right. Thank you. For this one, we have a short conversation in this part. And let me just help you with some pronunciation. Let me... All right, let me mute on some people, on everybody, right? Better said, on everybody, just to have some good practice at this moment. Let me highlight some expressions. Let's see. Let me just check on some of them. Um... This one, okay, perfect. Just two expressions because I believe the rest is easy for you. Listen and let's repeat, all right? Listen and repeat. Once. 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 Mm -hmm. Once. Once. One more time, everybody. Once. 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 All right, all right. The second, the other word. First. First. One more time. First. 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 Perfect. Perfect. Tell me, people. We have the expression once. Do you know other form? Not translation, but do you know other form to say once? One time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's correct. When we say once, it's similar to say one time. For example, I take a shower once. And usually we express uh, a repetition. For example, we say once, and then we say the reference of time. Once a day, right? Yes. I take a shower once a day. Similar to say one time in, in a day. That is the, the, the message, right? That is the message that we are saying with this info, right? Once, you say one time, right? Once a day, one time in the day. Tell me, let me ask on some people. Let me see, Miss Ingrid Griselda, can you share with the class something that you do once a day? Only one time in a day. What do you do once a day? 
Mm. Everybody think about that one. Wake up. Thank you. Thank you so much for Paula. Let, let me see for Paula. Paula, help us. What do you do once a day? Wake up in the morning. <laughs> All right. Thank you. It's valuable. It's valuable. Thank you. Let me go back to Ingrid Griselda. What about you? Something you do only once a day. I once a day mm -hmm. mm, to drink coffee. Drink coffee only one time in the day. Wow. I have a problem with the coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I drink a lot of coffee, but <laughs> I'm trying to to reduce to reduce. Uh huh. Or, or, difficult. <laughs> or, or you say, or I am trying to quit. I am I am trying to quit. That is all the equivalent. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let me see on more people. What about for you, Rafael Ramos? What is something you do once a day? I have a dinner once a day. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Carlos Antoni, what about you? Something you do once a day. Check on the microphone, please. Check on the microphone. Thank you, thank you. I go running uh, one a day. All right, yes. go running once a day. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Rosa Emilia, what about you? Something you do once a day. Uh, once a day is call my mom. Cool. All right, thank you, call your mom. Perfect. Let's change the reference. Nelson, something you do once a week. One time in the week. Once a week. Um, <clears throat> once a week, I uh, I go to visit my, my grandparents. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Brenda, Yvette, what about you? Something you do once a week? I go to the charts once a week. I go more times, more time <laughs> every day. On I know. Sunday. On Sunday, I know, thank you, thank you. What about for you, Stephanie? Something you do once a week? I visit my veteran. All right, perfect, perfect. Ashley Ramos, think about this one. Once a month, one time in the month. Ashley? Receive salary. <laughs> All right, thank you. All right, receive salary once a month. It's valid, thank you. Alexander, what about you? Once a month. Uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> hmm? Um, I go to the supermarket once a month. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is valid. Thank you. Thank you. Osmar, what about you? What do you do once a month? Once a month. Yeah. Uh, I pay my bill. Uh, all right. Pay my bills. It's valid. Thank you. Thank you. Let me see one more person to participate. Let me see and the people who are connected. Francisco, what about you? What do you do once a, a month? Uh, I go to bed. <laughs> all right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Why not? All right. Why not? All right. Perfect. 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 That's the idea when you say once, one time, and usually we have the reference. All right. Once a week, once a day, once a month, once a year. Right. We have a time reference for that to talk about this info. Okay. Tell me, let's do something for this conversation. I will give you the chance to volunteer yourself, yourselves, right? So please, who is the first volunteer to practice? I need one person to be Johnny, 
and other person to be an. All right. Let me double check on the people. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. I... All right. Perfect. Carla, Carla, is that you? Yes. All right. Perfect. Carla, you are going to begin. Let's see. They don't have names. No. All right. Perfect. Carla, you are going to be John in the first part. And let me choose on more people with a gesture. And I see Erica to be Anne. All right. Thank you. Carla, you begin. Erica, you respond. Okay. How often do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check in as often as I can. How often do you call, call <laughs> your friends? <laughs> I after call them on some a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check mm -hmm. the order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Thank you. Thank you so much, ladies, for your participation. Let's continue. Estrella, you begin. Nelson, you respond. Thank you. Okay. How often do you change email? Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it as half often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check the order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it's important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Thank you. Thank you so much for your participation, people. Let's have more people participate. At this moment, I need the collaboration of Stephanie, Patricia, and Rafael, right? Stephanie, you start. How often do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check it uh, often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check the order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Thank you, thank you so much people for your participation. And now I need uh, Rosa Emilia's help to start the conversation. And Brenda, you go for the second participation. Thank you. How often do you, do, do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check it as, it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call the then first thing, thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You're right. Thank you so much, yes. everybody, for your participation. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Now, let's have some feedback about pronunciation, and that is practice for everybody. Tell me, people, how do you say the first expression in red? Often. Oops, often. 
All right. What about the rest? Often. Hello. How do you say it? Often. Uh -huh. Often. 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 Yeah. Often. 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 All right. Ah, perfect. That's the important part. Check on this one. The in this case we say the T is not pronounced, it's mute. You can say often. 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 Right? The letter T is not pronounced. We can say often. often. It's valid. Some people say often and it's valid. But in, when you say often, it's more like British, right? British English. Right? For example, they say what a city, right? Often. Right? The, the T is very very emphasized. But in this case, for American English. Usually you listen to often, right? How often? That is the experience. Often, often. What about the next one? The next one in red. How do you say it? Usually. 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 Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Check on this one. The start of this one is like this. You. Usually. You. No. Ooh. 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 Uh -uh. Ooh. No. You usually, 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 there you are. Listen and repeat after me, please. Usually, 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 usually. 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 nicely, nicely done. Perfect, perfect. What about the next one? How do you say this day? Friday, 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 Listen Friday. and repeat Friday. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Check on the, the next one. Clients. 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 Perfect. 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 Clients. Cla clients. Clients. There you are. Thank you. Thank you. Now, more feedback about this one. And in this case, it's for. Uh, fluency and intonation. Yeah. Nah, it's more fluent. All right. Let me check on this one. Let me switch on the colors. Yellow color. All right. Let's see this one. Okay. Check on this one. Remember, do you remember the previous exercise when we were practicing to say to join in sounds? ¿Se recuerdan que en una clase anterior hablábamos de unir ciertos sonidos sí, y no hacer pausa? ¿Se acuerdan cuál, qué, qué expresión estudiamos en aquella oportunidad? ¿The hamster? Running at this moment. Hamster, hamster. Like memory. <laughs> 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 mm -hmm. Rest. Ask you. Uh, thank ask you. you. Exactly. Thank you. Exactly. Perfect. Congrats. Congrats. We practice that one, right? Don't ask watch. you. I'm ask you. All right. Don't stop, right? Check ask it. you. Uh -huh. And check on this one also. I listened. Escuché. Y vamos a practicar. Si usted me hace una pausa, no es incorrecto. Ok. Pero nos resta un poco la fluidez. Right? I try to check it. Now, check it. Check it. Como que fuera una sola palabra, un solo sonido. Right? Estamos uniendo las dos palabras y le estamos dando continuidad al sonido para alargarlo y unirlo con el siguiente. Right? No hacemos pausa. No decimos check it. Right? Check it. Listen and repeat after me. Check it. Check it. Check it. Check it. Check it. Check it. One, more, one more time. Check it. Check it. check it, check it, check it. I try to check it. Yeah, check that's it. it. I try to check it. That's correct. That's correct. Pay attention to the next one. Listen to this one. It is not necessary to make any pause in this one. No hay necesidad de hacer una pausa. As often as. As often as. Right? As so. As often. Right? Ve que yo no hago una pausa. As often. Right? I try to check it as often as often as. All right? Let's practice. Practice practice in this one. The second expression. The second yellow expression. Listen and repeat. As often as. As often as. As often as. As often as. All right? As often as. Right? Perfect. Now listen to the expression. Right? Complete expression. Vamos a leer ahora la frase completa. Y así, créeme que vamos a sonar more natural in this case. Listen to this. Listen, and then you practice. 
I try to check it as often as I can. I want to listen. Los escucho. Okay. Vamos. I try to check it as often as I can. As often as often as. All right. One more time. One more time. Listen and repeat. I try to check it as often as I can. I try to check it as often as Don't bite your tongue. No se me vayan a morder la lengua que algunos lo pongan con miedito. All right. Be careful. Be careful. As often as I can. It happens, all right? Remember, that is the practice. After class, try to repeat, right? I try to check it as often as I can. Right? Check it as often as, right? Thank you. Thank you so much. I try to check it as Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Razemile. Well done. Well done. Thank you. That, that is a tip, right? That is a tip for you. If you have, well, I know you have time, so please make more time to practice this type of exercises. Because when we are learning a different language, sometimes it is difficult for the position of, of the mouth, right? And we feel like we are going to bite our tongue, right? Vea que cuando estamos hablando un idioma diferente al nuestro, la posición de la boca, ¿verdad? al emitir los sonidos, Es muy diferente al español, pero lo otro ya lo hacemos por inercia cuando expresamos ideas. Pero en inglés, de pronto, a veces uno basta como, ¿cómo es que tengo que decir las cosas? Pero si usted practica, ¿verdad? Practica, repita, repita, repita. Créame que después eso le va a salir muy natural, sin necesidad de hacer tanta pausa y sin estar... Eh, a veces uno está pensando, ¿cómo es que tengo que decir esto? Y a veces hasta uno tiende a pausar cómo expresa las ideas. Entonces, trate de practicar. Practice, practice, practice. Eso solo lo vamos a mejorar con práctica. ¿Ok? Usted puede escuchar a una persona repetir muchas veces, pero si usted no lo, no lo pronuncia, nos va a costar. Si usted solo piensa, ay, voy a pensar cómo es que debe dar la pronunciación, en la mente a uno le sale fantástico. ¿All right? Así hasta cuando yo canto la música de mi artista favorito, yo me digo listo a él. ¿va? Pero cuando ya me quito el audífono... Different story, right? So please practice, practice, practice. Last time, last time, everybody. Vamos a practicar una última vez. Eh? Lo vamos a tratar de decir lo más rápido que podamos. Listen and repeat. I try to check it as often as I can. I try, I try to check it as often as I can. Okay, never can. All right, perfect, perfect, perfect. No problem, but practice. Now, let's read the complete conversation, right? Let's read the complete conversation. I read the participation and you repeat after me. Vamos a practicar todo. Yo leo toda la participación de la persona. Usted escucha y luego repite. Are you ready for practice? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. 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 Let's... Thank you. Let's do it. Listen to this. How often do you check your email? How often, How, often you you How often do you check your email? Every two hours in you? Every, Every two hours. Every two hours, Every hours, 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 hours in you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your client? I often I often call, call them one. once. Uh, yeah, that, yeah. It, <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. All right. Let's continue. I often call them <laughs> once. But I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? I often call, I often call them once. I often call them on Friday to check their order. Clients? Clients or clients? Clients. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Thank you. Let's continue. Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. Yes, I always I believe it's important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. You're right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. And congrats, congrats, congrats to everybody for the practice. As I mentioned, 
Practice, please. Practice, practice, practice. That is your best friend, right? Your best friend is the practice all the time. Now, let's see in this one. I have a question for you. Let me see in this one. I need one, I will choose one person. Me, Mr. let me see. Mr. 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 Levy, hello, hello. Are you ready for practice, Mr.? Mr. Levy, hello, hello. If not, let me choose other person. Let's see for other boy. Mr. Eduardo Josue, are you ready for practice? Hmm, probably not. Let me choose an other boy to participate. What about you, Fernando? Ready for practice? Yeah. Yeah. Hello, hello. Yeah. All right, no problem. What about for you? Let me choose an uh, one lady now at this moment. What about for you? Let me see. Rosemilia. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. All right, perfect. Check on the question in yellow, right? We have a question. How often do you attend meetings? Uh, um, me, can, can I Yes, yes, please, please. Um, I attend in once a week. Once a week. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Rosa Emilia, choose other classmates and ask the same question, please. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, Erika Mercedes. Mm -hmm. Perfect. How often do you attend meetings? I the meetings are once a month. Once a month. All right, thank you. Erika, choose the last person to participate with this question. Um, Paola. Mm -hmm. Hello. Uh, How often? Ask the question. Mm -hmm. Repeat the question. Check on, check on the screen. Check on the screen. How often? Uh -huh. Thank you. This is the question on top. How often do you attend meetings? Uh -huh. I, uh, I usually when call me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So when they call you, you go to meeting. All right, thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Perfect, perfect. Now, after this conversation and this practice, let's move on to the book practice that we have on page 19. Question number one, let's read together, everybody. Question number one, how often? All right, and what's the answer? That is from the conversation. How often? Two hours. Two hours. Two hours. All right, all right. And let's formulate the complete answer. And um, check. Check, and check. Check. And check. Very many. Very many. Very many. Very many. Two hours. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Remember checks. Right? Third person. Affirmative. She checks her email every two hours. All right. Perfect. 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 
right? Thank you, thank you so much. Now, let's move to the next practice of this exercise, of the next one. Today, we talk about frequency adverbs to talk about the repetition, right? Repetition of the routine, repetition of actions. Let's see at this moment. Check on this one. What is the hidden message? Hay una palabra oculta y en desorden. What is it? Always. Always. Nicely done. Thank you, thank you. Next one. What is it? Usually. Perfect, perfect. What about the next one? Normally. Uh -huh. Normally. Thank you, thank you. Normally. All right. Thank you so much. We say normally. Check the next one. What does it say? Often. 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 There you are. There you are. Often. Hmm. Often. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Often. Thank you. Sometimes. And this one? Sometimes. Sometimes. No, Sometimes. It's a semita or something like Sometimes. that. Come on. <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Coffee and semita. No. Sometimes. There you are. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sometimes. Perfect. What about the next one? What What does it say? Occasionally. Oh, oh, there you are. There you are. Congrats, congrats. And what about this? Let's stop. All right. Molde. Molde. No, molde. No, come on. Come on. All right. <laughs> There you are. You say seldom, seldom, seldom. Thank you. Seldom. What about this one? Rarely. Yearly. Yearly. Yearly? Yeah. Rarely. 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 Thank you. Not yearly. Not yearly. Thank you. You say rarely. Listen rarely. to me and repeat. Rarely. 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 There you are. Rarely. Thank you. Check on the next one. Never. 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 Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Now, let's do a recap. Let's see how good your memory is. What is the first frequency adverb we mentioned? We say? Always. 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 Next one. Usually. Ah, Usually. thank you. Usually. Next? Sometimes. Normally. 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 <laughs> yes. Normally. Thank you. Next. Often. 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 Yes, Often. yes, yes. Amazing. Thank you. Oh, the next Sometimes. one. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Let me Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <one>. <laughs> Sorry, my goodness. I, I, I just I just had a bug. Me crashy ahorita in English. Sorry. Sometimes. <laughs> what about the next one? What is the next one? Occasionally. 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 Ah, all right. All right. The next one. Listen and let's let's practice. Occasionally. Listen and practice. Occasionally. 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 One more time. One more time. Occasionally. 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 Thank you. And what is after this? What is the next? Seldom. Seldom. And after seldom? Ah, perfect. Perfect. Rarely. We have rarely. 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 Never. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see in this one. Let me just double check on some of them. Please, please, please. This is the one. All right. Remember on pronunciation. Just double check on this one. Okay. Let me see this one. Let me check. Let's double check on this one. And this as well. All right, perfect. Let's begin from the bottom. 
lower part to the top, right? Bottom, top. What is the pronunciation of this one? The first one in blue, we say? Yes, this one, this no, no, rarely. this one, this one, this one, huh? We say, rarely, 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 rarely. Thank you. Rarely. What about the next one? We say, occasionally, 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 occasionally. 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 Thank you. And what about this one? We say, usually, usually, usually. usually. All right, thank you, thank you, thank yes. you so much. Perfect, perfect. All right. Thank you. Nicely done, people. Now, let's work on a quick practice to use these elements in context. Let me just socialize something to you. Let me see. All right. No, sorry. This is, give me a second. I am going to share a link with you. This is the one, and I need your help also to open this one on your devices. I am going to give you the link over the WhatsApp chat and over the Zoom chat as well. Please open the information on your, on your devices. When you open like that, let me just change my screen. Okay, perfect. When you open that one, you will see something similar to this one, adverse of frequency. Okay, something similar to the information on the screen. Just give me a second because mine is loading at this moment. Tell me, do you have access to the practice people? Mine's loading at this moment. What about for you? Do you have access to the practice? Hello, hello. Yes. 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 All right. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes. You will have something like this: listening adverse of frequency. At this moment, let's complete this exercise. I play the information for you and you listen to this one, right? You can do this one alone, but let's work as a class. Ve que aquí tenemos el video, si usted le da play, usted va a comenzar a escuchar, pero lo hacemos como clase en este momento. Así que yo reproduzco el video. Don't worry, all right? Your task, pay attention to the information. We have, how many conversations do we have? Check on the, check on the, on the activity. How many conversations? Check on your devices, please. How many oh, conversations oh, are there? Oh, oh. Exactly. We have four conversations. That That's correct. <clears throat> Can you tell me, are the conversations complete? No. No, they are no, not no. complete. <laughs> exactly. So you listen to the information and you listen, for example, what do you do on the weekend? And you listen to the answer, I, and then you copy, all right? You are going to write info right here in this space, right? In this part. Here you complete. You listen and complete. Then the next one, the same. Listen and complete. Listen and complete. And there you go, all right? We are going to complete all the different spaces. And then there is conversation two. We do the same, we complete on some information, all right? That is the task, to check how good our listening is. You listen and complete. Are you ready for the practice? Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, teacher. yes teacher. Perfect. I will, I will have mute for everybody. So you listen to this one on your devices. Yo le voy a reproducir el, el, el audio por, el, por acá, por la videoconferencia. Así que usted no le da play, no se preocupe. Y yo me pongo en mute también para que se pueda escuchar. And complete, please. All right, let's begin. Thank you so much. Conversation one. 
What do you do on the weekend? I usually stay home, but sometimes I go out. Oh, where do you go? Sometimes I go to the beach. Sometimes I go to the park. I often go there too. Do you ever go to the lake? No, very rarely. It is too far from my house. Conversation two. What do you usually have for dinner? I try to eat healthy, so I usually cook vegetables. Really? What kind of stuff do you make? Sometimes I make soups. Sometimes I make stir fry. Stir fry? That's not very healthy. I know, but I don't eat it that often. Conversation three. Do you take the bus to work? No, I never take the bus. I always drive. Yeah, it's so much easier to drive. Do you drive to work? Actually, I rarely drive. I usually walk to work. I live near the office. Lucky you. Conversation four. Do you ever go to the movies? I rarely do. It is too expensive. Do you? No, not often. I usually rent DVDs. Really? I never do that. I usually stream movies. Nice. Do you have fast internet? Yeah. Usually it is fast, but sometimes it's slow. Thank you, thank you, everybody, for listening to this one. The first time. At this moment, we listen on a second time. All right. Now listen and complete or listen and check. All right. If you have some answers, listen and check. Second time, and let's have more information. Thank you. One. What do you do on the weekend? I usually stay home. But sometimes I go out. Oh, where do you go? Sometimes I go to the beach. Sometimes I go to the park. I often go there too. Do you ever go to the lake? No, very rarely. It is too far from my house. Conversation two. What do you usually have for dinner? I try to eat healthy. So I usually cook vegetables. Really? What kind of stuff do you make? Sometimes I make soups. Sometimes I make stir fry. Stir fry? That's not very healthy. I know, but I don't eat it that often. Conversation three. Do you take the bus to work? No, I never take the bus. I always drive. Yeah, it's so much easier to drive. Do you drive to work? Actually, I rarely drive. I usually walk to work. I live near the office. Lucky you. Conversation four. Do you ever go to the movies? I rarely do. It is too expensive. Do you? No, not often. I usually rent DVDs. Really? I never do that. I usually stream movies. Nice. Do you have fast internet? Yeah. Usually it is fast, but sometimes it's slow. Perfect, perfect. Thank you so much, people, for the time in the practice. Now, at this moment, Let's check our progress. Remember, go at the end, click on finish, and after that, check my answers, please. All right? See the score, and please share your score over the WhatsApp group. Please, 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 please. Terminen de completar. Si les hace falta una palabra de digitar, complétela y chequeamos nuestro progreso. Okay? Take a screenshot and share that one over WhatsApp group. Thank you, thank you, thank you.
Thank you. I see the first. Thank you. Perfect, perfect. I see more answers coming. Thank you. Thank you. I see some replies. Thank you, thank you. All right, no problem, no problem, no problem. Yeah, no problem. Kenny, Patricia, you can do it later. Yes, no problem. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let me see some replies for this one. Thank you so much. Hey, good scores, good scores. Thank you. Perfect, perfect. Thank you, thank you. Amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I see more replies. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect, perfect. Thank you so much for the people who share the progress. Nicely done. For the rest, you may do it later. Thank you, thank you. No problem, no problem. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, no problem. You can do it later. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. All right, just as a practice for everybody, let's solve this exercise together. Let me see, uh, what, how do we complete the first line? I, do you remember the answers? Usually. Ah, thank you, usually. Let's continue reading. I usually stay home. Let's continue, but. Sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes, sometimes continue reading. Sometimes I. Go out. Go out. Go Thank on. you. Thank you. Let's continue. Oh, where? Where do you go? Where, where do you go? Oh, and you go? Sometimes. 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 Let's continue reading. Sometimes I go to the park. Sometimes I go to the park. To the park. Thank <laughs> you. And the next one, I. I hmm. often go there. After go there too. I. Uh huh. Did Thank you. Go to the lake. Uh huh. Do you ever go to the no. lake? Not very. No. Very, 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 uh -huh. Let's continue. Uh -huh. I, I try to eat, to eat healthy. Uh -huh. healthy, right? Healthy, healthy. right? Healthy. Healthy. So, so I, I usually vegetables. Vegetables, really? Let's continue. What kind what of what kind of soup do you make? Do you make? Do you make? Sometimes uh -huh. I make soaps. Sometimes, uh -huh. sometimes I, I make, make, I make soap. soap. Let's continue. Sometimes, sometimes I make stir fry. Stir fry. Stir fry. Let's continue. Stir that that's not, that's not very healthy. All right. Okay. That's not very healthy. I know, but healthy. I don't. Uh -huh. I don't. I know, but I don't eat, eat that, that often. often. That often. 
that's often okay thank you so much let's continue with conversation three do, do you take, do you take, take the, the bus, bus to work work to work? No. Never take the I always, always drive. drive. Always. Yes. Uh -huh. drive. All right. Always drive. Thank you. Let's continue. Yeah. 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 It's so much easier to drive. Do you drive to work? Do you drive to work? To work? To All drive. right. Actually, Actually, I rarely, I rarely drive. I usually, I usually, usually walk, to walk, walk to work. I live near to the, to the office. I near the office. I live near the office. The office. All right. Sorry. In this one, I usually, I usually walk, walk. Walk. All right. All right. Sorry. Walk, walk to work. To work. Perfect. And last, the last participation. Lucky office. you. Right. Uh huh. Thank you. Office in this one. Thank you. Thank you. And the last part for the man. Lucky you. Lucky you. Lucky you. Lucky you. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Next one and the last one. Let's go. Do you Do ever go to the movies? To the movies. Uh -huh. Thank you. The answer? I really do. Really do. It is. It is too expensive. Do you? Uh -huh. Do you? Uh -huh. No. Not, not, not expensive. Not often. I Mama. use to rent DVDs. Rent DVDs. DVDs. Really? I never, I never do that. I used to I do never that. do that. Stream movies. Stream movies. movies. Nice. nice. Do you? Uh, do you have fast internet? Fast. Yeah. Usually. Yeah. 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 Right. Sometimes it's slow. it's slow. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much for helping me complete. After that one, let's double check. And Perfect. congratulations, everybody. 10 out let's of go. 10. Perfect. Perfect. Congrats. Congrats. Nicely done. Nicely done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, to complement on this info, let me just give you some reference in this case. And for that, I am going to use the book as my reference. You can find this information on page number. Check on this one. What page is the reference? Page number? Tiny. Tiny. Exactly. Page 20. We have information about the frequency adverbs. Check on the numbers. Check on this info, please. Check on the repetition they represent. For example, never. What is the representation of never? Zero. 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 Right? Always, what is the representation of repetition? 100%. 100%. All right. Then we have sometimes. What is the representation of repetition? 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. 50. All right. And then we have other adverbs, and they represent different uh, percentages of repetition. Right. They are approximates. Probably you can find more info with more uh, more details, all right? But this is just a reference. Vea que los números que tenemos acá son como una referencia para ayudarnos a saber qué tanto estamos hablando de una repetición de una acción. Puede ser que usted busque más información y tal vez los números no peguen, que diga, hey, el usually me decía 95 o 85 en otro, y por qué aquí dice 90. Don't worry, they are references. Solo son referencias, ¿verdad? Para que nosotros tengamos una mejor idea, ¿ok? No, no nos vamos a, a cerrar a que, no, es que el senda me da 10% y 10 y allá dice 5, allá dice 7. Ah, vamos a entrar en un dilema. Don't worry, don't worry. It's about a uh, reference. Let's work together. Let's do something. Ladies, you begin with the first example. I always, then the boys. Then the ladies, we alternate in this one to read different examples, all right? Let me see, like this, you go for this one, and you go for this. We read on examples at this moment. The yellow lines are for you, ladies. When I count to three, I want to listen to you, right? One, 
two and three. Ladies, I... I always, I always, always get up at Thank you. Next one, boys. He... Usually drive to work. All right. Thank you. But what about the rest of the boys? I listen to Nelson and the rest. One more time, boys. One, two, and three. He usually tries to work. <laughs> but I listen to only Nelson. What we are asleep. <laughs> ah, come on. You are many, many, many. <laughs> All right. Let's continue. Ladies, the next one in yellow. She... Thank you, thank you, thank you. Boys, the next one, I... I often, I often have breakfast at work. Ladies, he... He sometimes microwave. 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 Thank you. Perfect. Lay, uh, no, it's for boys. I, I, I actually work over time. time. All right, thank you. Ladies, you're next. We, we sell 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 perfect, perfect, perfect. Boys, he, he rarely has conferences. 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 Uh, conferences. Uh, and the last one, ladies, I, I never, I never get late to work. To work. <laughs> yeah. Is this a reality for you? I never <laughs> get late to work. No, it's a <laughs> <in> reality. <laughs> Ideally, yes. <laughs> All right. I never get late to work. All right. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Thank you so much. Now, let's continue with more sure. info. And for that, tell me, tell me. Uh, repeat the pronunciation rarely. All right. Ra thank rar you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. We say rare, rarely, rare, rarely, rare, rarely. Right? Oh, it's yeah. like, like a difficult R. Vea que la R es un tanto complejo y no tan común como la tenemos en el español. All right. Rare, rare, rarely, rarely. Rarely. El sonido rrr no existe en el español en palabras. Rarely. 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 Exactly. Rarely. Rarely. Thank you. Perfect. Perfect. And these are the specific sounds we need to practice. All right. Because they don't exist in Spanish. Similar to when an American person talks, right? Es, es similar cuando usted escucha a alguien que habla inglés que dice perrito, per, porque no dice perrito, right? They don't say perro. That rrr is not in, is not in English, right? They say perro, perro, something like that. Similar to us. This is the opposite, right? Este es lo opuesto. Ese sonido de esa R no existe en el español. Por eso a veces necesitamos practicarlo, ¿verdad? Right? Rarely, rarely, rarely. Rarely. Hey, rarely. Exactly. Rarely. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Nicely done. Thank you. Perfect. Let me switch back to some information for my presentation. Let me see. Let's move on to this one. Talking about the frequency of verbs, tell me what are or what is the order for the elements? The first element in the sentence is a subject. And what about next one? To include the frequency of verbs, what is the next element? Is, the, is it the verb, the frequency Bear. of verbs, the complement? Adverbs. Adverbs? Hmm. Verb. Verb. Adverb. Brenda mentions verb. What do you say, Erica? What is the next element? Remember the examples. What is the next element? Yes. Uh, verb. Thank you. Yeah, All right. Frequency. Okay, Frequency. Frequency adverb. Porque representa la frecuencia de de una acción que hacemos. Aha, uh -huh. all right. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Let's see in this one. Let's double check as a class. The first element is the subject. The next one 
What is frequency. the next one, people? Frequency ah, adverb. Frequency, frequency adverb. Frequency adverb. Thank you. And after this, what is the next element? Verbs and base form. The verb. The verb. All right. And after the verb? Complement. Complement. There you are. Exactly. That is the, that is the order. Subject, frequency adverb. Verb. verb and complement. Let's go for examples. Let's read together. My boss. My, my boss, boss always always arranges me. Thank you. Oranges. Next one, Felipe. Felipe, Felipe never comes late to work. All right, thank you. Let's see for the next one. I, I sometimes, sometimes call clients. Perfect. What about the next one? We, we usually, usually, we usually pay the payroll. payroll. Exactly. We usually create the payroll. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You should yeah. see. Yes. What's the meaning arrange and payroll? All right. Perfect. 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 I explain. When we talk about arrange, it's possible to say organize. My boss always organizes meetings organizes similar. arranges similar similar okay. message all right and the other the payroll. payroll do you know what the payroll is people La mia. Ah, perfect the list the list of workers with the quantity of money they receive okay ah, that that's the payroll all right okay thank you thank you so much yes, thank you uh, my pleasure, mister. My pleasure. And I have one final example. You... You seldom live. In this one, we have the same position. Subject, frequency adverb, verb. Right? That is the same for everything, for everybody. Something relevant and something to remember is this one. Check on this one. Let me see. If you remember the third person singular, we have changes. And for that reason, we say, my boss arranges. We continue with the change. Felipe never comes. And the rest is normal, base form. So please remember in this one, the frequency adverb is extra, but we continue with the same changes for third person singular, right? Si se recuerdan ayer yo les mencionaba, cuando tengamos un auxiliar que ocurre en negativo y en preguntas, el verbo fue, vuelve a su forma base. Ese, ese poder solo lo tiene el, eh, el auxiliar. Este es un elemento extra pero este no nos va a quitar eso de los cambios de terceras personas. Si hablamos de he o de she, el verbo va a llevar el cambio como nosotros ya lo conocemos. ¿Okay? Nada más el verbo de frecuencia se agrega. Vea la posición, pero terceras personas la mantenemos. I never go to class. My sister never goes to class. Vea que el cambio del verbo siempre se mantiene. Right? I sometimes sleep early. My brother sometimes sleeps early. All right? Check on that one. The examples and the changes, sorry, the changes are the same in this third person singular, extra information for frequency adverbs. All right? Don't forget about that one. Vea que el, el, este el moradito solo es algo extra, pero los cambios los hacemos como ya los conocemos. Mm -hmm. Now, eh, any, any question at this moment? Questions, questions? All clear. All clear at this moment, all right? Think about one example, right? Let's practice. Think about one example for a friend for a co-worker or any person. Vamos a ponerlo bastante práctico. Hagamos un combo. Ser person singular in frequency adverb, ¿ok? Para demostrar que de verdad lo hemos comprendido. Listen to my example. Yo voy a reportar a 
algo de alguien y, y le voy a incluir un poco de frecuencia. For example, my mother sometimes cooks dinner. My mother sometimes cooks dinner. Frequency, verb in third person singular. Right? That is how we go on this one. Miss Estrella Dulcinea, what can you report to the class? Um, let me see. Mm -hmm. um, my friend uh, sometimes goes to the beach. All right. Thank you. Sometimes goes to the beach. Thank you. Why not? Thank you. Uh, Nelson, what about your sentence? Uh, okay. Um, my my coworker Beatrice mm -hmm. always, always takes coffee in the morning. All right. Always. But check on this one. For the complement coffee, the best option is drinks. Always okay. drinks coffee. All right, because the verb take is for something physical, take, right, in that case. All right, don't get confused in that part. Thank you. Miss Brenda, what can you say? Mm, me? Yeah, Brenda, yes. Okay. Um, my brother, mm -hmm. sometimes, uh, how do you say invitar? Uh, it's possible invitar. You can say invite. It's possible. My invite, brother sometimes invites. Invites uh, to eat pupusa. Ah, invites who? Invites me? ¿La invita usted? In, uh -huh. Invites me invites to eat pupusas. Invites me to eat pupusas. Hey, Brenda, you have a good brother. <laughs> Amazing. Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, thank you so much. Let me ask on more people to participate. Mr. Rafael Ramos, what can you report to the class? Okay, my brother never cleans the house. My goodness, he never cleans the house. All right, All right, no problem. Thank you. What about for you? Let me see, Paola Julissa, what can you report? Uh, my sister always go to her job. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you. Check on this one. My sister, my sister always go or my sister always goes? Goes. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. Carlos Antonio, your example, please. Sorry, my son usually mm -hmm. goes swimming. All right, goes swimming. All right, thank you, thank yeah. you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Michelle Alejandra, what about your example? Hello, hello, Michelle, 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 Alejandra. If not, I give the chance at this moment for volunteers who wants to express ideas. Eduardo is the first one. I, I appreciate that. Tell us, mister. We we'll listen uh, to you, Eduardo. Thank you. Okay. Uh, my daughter always waits for me at home. Wait for me. Ah, thank you. That's a good that's a good example. Thank you so much. Thank you. More examples, people. Mm, for example, um, my brother sometimes takes a nap in the afternoon. Oh, thank you. That's good. Sometimes takes a nap, all right? Sleep for a short time. Thank you, thank you. One more volunteer, please. Go ahead. Thank you, Erica. My son normally organizes his life. Really, really organizes. 
organizes, organization. <laughs> All right. That's a problem, Erika. That's a problem. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Uh, Stephanie, we listen to you. Valeria always goes to the gym in the morning. Oh, thank you. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well done. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, is there any other volunteer? Me? Thank you, Miss. Uh, let's listen to Asli at this moment, and then I give the chance. Asli, tell me. The teacher always explains the class. Uh, sometimes, not always. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the example is good. The example is good. Always explain. Hey, thank you, thank you. Sorry, who was the other volunteer? I listened to somebody say me. Creo que escuché a alguien decirme me, pero no identifique quién era. Me. Oh, it's Rosa Emilia. Perfect. We listen to you. Okay. My daughter, mm -hmm. sometimes help me, helps me uh, huh? wash the dishes. All right, sometimes helps me. All right, thank you. But change it, do it always. You say, hey, always help me. <laughs> I say <that> <laughs> Just kidding, <laughs> just kidding. All right, thank you, thank you. And nicely done, people. Nicely done in this part. Now, to move on almost to the last part of this practice, let's do something. When we report information about uh, frequency, we use different, right? Always, sometimes, often, seldom, usually, rarely, and all of that. But in this case, to ask for the frequency of an action, the expression is going to be how often, right? All the time. Right, check on that one. For the question, how often? We don't say how always, uh-uh. How seldom, uh-uh. For question, no. The question is how often, and then we incorporate some elements. For example, how often do you study English? Let's see. Uh, all right, we have an example. How often do you study English? Let me ask other. How often do you uh, use the cell phone? Oh, sorry, let me see in this one. Cell phone. All right, let me give you other example. How often do you? Uh, let's see, go to the beach, All right? Check on this one. The question, the beginning is the same, but the answer is going to be different depending on your reality, right? Check on that one. The element, the permanent element, how often? Only for questions. In answers, you can change, all right? Ve que el often nos sirve solo para preguntas. Esa es como la, res, la pregunta estándar, ¿ok? Así se ha formulado, con how often. La vamos a formular siempre. Sin embargo, en las respuestas, usted no necesariamente tiene que utilizar often, sino que usted va a utilizar un adverbio que demuestre la realidad de la repetición de lo que se le esté preguntando, ¿ok? Si usted me dice... How often do you study English? Y, because I know you, porque yo les, yo sé, y le veo en sus caritas que usted esto me va a responder. I always study English, teacher. Right? Yo sé que aquí nadie me va a decir seldom, nadie me va a decir rarely. Todos me van a decir always. Right? Ve que aquí en la respuesta yo no puse el often, porque el often no representa una realidad para mí. Así que ese often no es necesario ponerlo en la respuesta. How often do you use the cell phone? I rarely use the cell phone. Like that one, right? I rarely use the cell phone. This is my reality. Rarely. Right? How often do you go to the beach? Woof. Come on. I some, let's see, sometimes go to the beach. 
all right? And then I have the info in this case, all right? Check on this one, as I mentioned, the element often is not necessary in answers, just in questions. Vea que ahí el often solo lo mantenemos en la pregunta. Ese sí no lo vamos a variar, porque así está estructurada la pregunta. How often? How often do you? How often do you? Una, una pregunta directa. ¿Qué tan a menudo usted hace tal cosa? How often do you? For answers, it changes. All right? Vea que en las respuestas... Usted es libre de utilizar el adverbio que mejor represente una realidad para usted. Si el often representa una realidad para usted, entonces ponga often, no hay ningún problema. ¿Ok? Pero si no es often, tiene que cambiarlo. Y el que sea más adecuado. No me vaya a hacer una combinación como esta. Esto está incorrecto, no lo vayan a hacer. Que me diga I often y después me pone always. Ah, porque mira, o sea, como me preguntaron con often, a ley tengo que poner el often y después mi, mi, mi adjetivo, mi, mi adverbio. No, 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 this is not correct. ¿Okay? Vea que esto no lo hacemos. Esa combinación no es válida. I often, always, ah, uh ah, -uh. no, 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 no. Solo el adverbio que representa su realidad. ¿Okay? Let's see on this one. Let, let's go for a quick exercise. Miss Estrella Dulcinea, tell me, how often... Do you study English? I normally study English. Ah, thank you so much. Thank you. Mr. Osmaro, tell me, how often do you drink coffee at work? I always, I always drink, drink coffee. All right, thank In you. In the morning. morning. <laughs> In the morning. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you, thank you. Tell me, Mr. Carlos Antonio, how often do you go to the beach? Check on the mic, the microphone, please. Thank you. I usually go to the beach, teacher. All right, thank you. I usually go to the beach. Thank you. Why not? Thank you. Ingrid Griselda, tell me, how often... Do you clean the house at night? At night. Yeah. Um, I think that I often clean my house at night. Mm -hmm. uh, um, two times. Two times. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. That's good. Let me ask on some people. Miss Brenda Yvette, tell me, Brenda Yvette, how often do you use the cell phone at work? Hmm. Mm. Uh, I always. Oh. <laughs> But for work. For work, all right, perfect, perfect. Yeah, because we are recording. Como están grabando, sí, para trabajo. For work, people, for work. Nah, thank you, thank you so much. Let me see. Let me ask one more people. Tell me, Nelson, Nelson Omar, how often do you arrive early to work? Um. I rarely, I rarely to arrive late to work. No, early, early. Early. Time. early. Ah, yeah. I, early I always, I always. <laughs> always <laughs> arrive early. I always uh, arrive early to work, to my work. Perfect. Good job. Good. You are an example. Thank you. Asli <laughs> Ramos, tell me, how often... Do you play soccer? Ashley Ramos, how often do you play soccer? Hmm. I usually mm -hmm. play soccer. Ah, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. That's good. Stephanie Patricia, tell me, how often do you cook breakfast? I always <laughs> cook breakfast. All right. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Alexander, tell me, how often do you call your friends? Repeat again, please. Yes. How often do you call your friends? Um, I never call my friends. Oh, my goodness. All right. No problem. Why not? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, let's do something. Just before we leave, let's express questions. All right. Vamos a cambiar un poco. Le doy la chance a alguien que haga una pregunta al grupo y el que quiera la puede responder. Siempre con how often. ¿verdad? Yo les hice ejemplos. Ahora quiero escucharles a ustedes. Algún ejemplo. How often? Y cualquiera la puede responder. One volunteer to create a question, please. Thank you. Only one. Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead, Rafael. We listen to you. Do you have... Uh, no. How often do you eat pupusas? Oh, people. How often do you eat pupusas, people? Uh, always. I always. I always. I always. I always. It, 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 I always eat bubbles. Ah, oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Next question. I think Brenda is ready for the question. We listen to you, Miss. How often do you pray? Ah, uh, how often do you pray, people? Mm, that's a good question. <laughs> I, I always pray. Always pray. I always pray. Every day. I, Up. Really. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you, thank you so much. Hey, that's good, that's good. Thank you, thank you. Good question, Brenda. One more example. Let's listen to uh, Car Carla, 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 Valencia. Can you create a question for the class, please? How often? How often do do you cook? All right, people. How often do you cook? I never. I never. <laughs> I rarely. Very good. I'm missing. <laughs> the rest? Sometimes. What is that? I'm only in the weekend. <laughs> only on the weekend. All right. Thank you. Why not? Thank you. Thank you. More questions. Other other person yeah. to ask a question. Go ahead. Yeah. Do you read the book? How often do you read a book? Apparently. Sometimes. Rarely. Sometimes. 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 All right. Thank you. Carlos Antonio, can you tell us a question, please? Yes. How often do you check face? Oh, how how often do you check your face Facebook? I always I always I always again and every moment. Oh, come on. Okay, <laughs> question. Listen to me. How often do you check your Facebook in the English class? Sure, sure. <laughs> All right. For the people with the camera on, yes, I believe you. For the rest, mm, I don't know, right? No es que le diga mentiroso, ¿va? pero a los que no pueden yeah. utilizar su cámara, pues no me consta. ¿verdad? For the rest, yes, right? I see. I see that you don't use it. <laughs> All right. Perfect, perfect. Now, just before we leave, uh, have you checked the information in the platform about the homework assignments? Antes de retirarnos, nada más hay un recordatorio y igualmente un sondeo. ¿Ya chequearon las tareas pendientes en la tarea, en la plataforma Schoology? Yes. 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 No, All right. No. Perfect. No. Hmm, no. Yeah, I never. <laughs> How often do you check a schoology? <laughs> once a week. Well, once a week. Come on. No, come on. Once a month. Once a month. Come on. Once in every level, right? One time in every level. Come on, people. All right. Just as a comment and as a. And as a reminder, 
check the Schoology platform, please. Chequé su plataforma de Schoology, que ayer yo le socializaba las tareas que tenemos asignadas para esta semana. When is the due date? Do you remember the due date? Yes. Sunday. 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 Exactly. Uh, well, it's, it's, it's Sunday. Sunday. It's Sunday. Thank you. Tenemos hasta el domingo para enviar las tareas. Veo, ahora revisé la plataforma y vi que algunos ya me habían hecho los envíos de las tareas de la captura, así que les agradezco. Los demás, les animo a que puedan revisar la plataforma de Schoology porque tenemos eh, la tarea de la captura de pantalla, ¿verdad? del enlace externo, e igualmente tenemos la participación en el foro. Cada tarea está en la carpeta tal cual. Homework assignment, ahí tenemos una, y en la otra carpeta foro tenemos la otra participación. So please check it. Chequen en la porfa, y si tienen algún problema para subirla, pues escríbanme, yo con gusto les ayudo. Pero no me vayan a escribir el domingo a las 11 de la noche. Teacher, ayúdeme. No, come on. 11.59. Ah, 11.59. I am sleeping. I am sleeping at that time. No, a esa hora no se puede, teacher, porque le da el siguiente día. Ah, okay. <risa> ya me ya pasó la última vez. <risa> All right. All right, perfect. That's a good experience. Lo, la envió 11.20 y me salía 12.20, así que Híjole. salió que le he retrasado. Ah, pues. Híjole, pues recomendación lo más pronto posible. Así que si yo les puedo asistir, eh, no hacerles la tarea, pero explicarles algo en un proceso, cómo subirla, con gusto, ¿ok? So please, don't forget about that. Now, people, it's time to finish the class. I appreciate your help, your participation. Thank you so much. Now, uh, have a good weekend. Relax. Sleep, go to the beach, check your Facebook, practice English, do the homework, and many activities more, all right? Recover energies because on Monday we continue with class. Are we Thank you. are you ready for the weekend or no? Yes. Yes. No. <laughs> Feel happy. Feel happy. Yes. All right. Perfect. Thank you so much. People. Uh so see each other. Let's see each other on Monday. Have a good night and a perfect good weekend. Night. Good night. Uh, good night. Good night. Perfect. Bye. 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 Bye bye everybody. Good night. Good night. Perfect. Good night. Perfect. See you see you.